Huawei. A Y Y Y A Y Y oh, oh, happy seventeen month. K A C H O W W. Jack, my computer broke while watching your years of him blaming you.
Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. Hold on, these have spun around a bit, haven't they? Let me just, um, that a second. There we go. Just make the background a little bit more red and blue. Hello, everybody. Oh, yeah, they, the alerts have been moved, haven't they? Hang on, let me move them back to where they usually belong. Uh, there we go. Cool. Hello. Welcome. Sorry for the jump scare. Sorry for the duh, the Um, But I'm here. I'm here to do a stream today. To rent my first apartment. Any advice? Best of luck. Uh, also have a great stream, King. Don't have a pet. Jack, your hairline reminds me of Tommy slash Jen. Ban that individual immediately. Immediately. Im immediately. You know how bad that guy's hairline is? Don't hey, say that about mine. I'm gonna, I'm, Jack I'm gonna a little put. I'm, look, it my is mine slightly further back than it was when I started streaming when I was 17. Yes. Has it been five Hi, years? Blue, yes. All right. It's well. been five years. All right. We've just got to accept that. Yes, my hairline is slightly further back than it was five years ago. It's been five years. Don't diss Tom, bro. I have every right to. I have to sit and speak with him every at, one, at least once a week, and it and and, and and let me say it's usually more. I saw him today. I had to go. I had to run by the podcast office today, and a whole fiasco. Anyway, look. Welcome everybody. Nice to have you here. The new part you probably... episode is so good. Oh, so I'm glad. For the next one. I'm very excited for the next one as well. Who has seen the new podcast episode? Jack Septicai, first guest. What a prestigious first guest I hear you say. Yep, that's the sort of thing you can expect from the Shut Up I'm Talking podcast. Zoo vlog was so good. Oh yeah, who saw the zoo vlog as well? Gahas gid gaga fewers de jizif. Very epic. Thank you for the three months. Um, I realize there's no way of distinguishing when everyone says me now, which one they're talking about. Um, but if you saw the zoo vlog, I hope you enjoyed it. I, uh, I saw the zoo challenge too. I laughed so hard. It's genuinely the unnamed zoo challenge is vlog is one of my favorite vlogs I've ever made. I did just the intro alone. Let me show you guys. If you haven't seen it already, let me just bang on the intro really you, quick. 13 months. You. Thank you. Let me bang on the intro real quick. Um, hang on. Turn that music off. You, if you guys haven't seen this, this is genuinely the um, zoo challenge. It's unnamed. Five months. Why do you change the thumbnail? It, it, so YouTube has A-B testing now. So when I pick, make a video, I, I, I pick three thumbnails. Uh, and um, it tests them all to see how it does with viewers, and then it selects one. So if you've seen several thumbnails, I, I'm not changing. I'm not like being a madman and changing my thumbnail every five minutes. There's three options, and YouTube automatically selects one of them. So probably by the end of today, we'll, it'll, it'll just be one. I think. I, I think. I don't know which one will win. But anyway, look at this, right? I think it's genuinely my favorite thing I've ever, ever uploaded. Just, just look at I this. tell you what. They've really cheaped out, haven't they, zoos? <laughs> Woo, hello, Jungle Chungus. It's actually here, guys. Got to love the gun to grind ya. Zoo challenge. And that's the uh, that's the video. Uh, <laughs> that was what we did. I genuinely, it's it's became like one of my favorite vlogs already. I just love the styling of it. It's so much more the pace I I, I wanted over the years, but was too scared to try through fear of not being Mr. Beastified enough. If you haven't watched that already, please do go check it out. But it's on the Jack channel. Anyway, you're probably wondering, what are we doing today, Jack? Well, I don't know if you can tell by the uh, super scary music. Eight We're actually going to be doing Jack something the killer is behind you. super scary. No! One, it's Jeff the Killer, and two, no, they aren't. Um, Look, Jack, who is going to London again? I'm not doing this. Look, we're going to be watching... Nukes Top 5, because there's no new Bizarre Bub, but there is a new Nukes Top 5 video dedicated to 10 scary videos of ghosts, specifically 30th, ghosts. 1998. It's a day I'll never forget. The cop inside me died that day. And that night, Raccoon City was wiped out thanks to the bioweapons created by Umbrella. Are you- is this a Sometimes Resident Evil copypasta? But too many others. Are you doing a Resident Evil copypasta in your three months? Thank you for the three months. Guys, so what we're going to be doing is there's a channel, Nukes Top 5. They make uh, videos uh, compiling scary ghost videos, kind of like Bizarre Bub, who we usually watch. Uh, but we're going to be watching this one. Uh, it's probably going to be a quicker stream than usual because I it's uh, a friend of mine's You're birthday. So I, I, I need to go uh, hang out with them. 
uh, as I promised I would. But um, I figure, you know, we have time. We have time. We're going to get through a ghost video before I go. Since it's been a little while. You know, I haven't been streaming very much recently and I want to get back on that grind. All right. I made a bingo card for Nuke's top five. Is that true? Link, link that in chat. It will get deleted, but I, I'll be able to see it still. So don't worry. I'll, I'll grab it. I'll grab it from the deleted list. Yeah, please do link your uh, your bingo sheet. I'll, I'll, I'll review it. Because I was just going to use the regular Bizarre Bub Bingo, but we could give this a go. Basil X, I think you the tier one. Whoop, whoop. Have a good stream. Thank you. Oh, you've been permitted. You can send the link in chat. Adrena Pog has let you through. It's a great honor. You should be proud. Yummy Mike? What? There's a ghost behind you. Uh, nice try, buddy. If there was a ghost, you wouldn't be able to see it, would you? That's what makes it a ghost. Damn, they're just not, they're just not sending this bingo, huh? Damn. Well, you know, I tried. Hello, Yak Yanifold. I hope there's no ghosts in these videos. Uh, you're not going to like this one, buddy. No, um... Cool, well, they're not fucking sending it, so I guess we're just going to use normal Bizarre Bub bingo. It kind of works for Nuke's Top 5. Just replace every time it says Bizarre Bub with Nuke's Top 5, and it kind of works. So don't stress. Hang on. It's on the wrong... Nope. Oh, well, that... Hang on. That's just the chat. That's not supposed to be there at all. Hang on. There we go. All right, chat. Here it is. Bizarre Bub Bingo. For Nuke's Top 5. It's kind of sacrilegious, but I'm a sacrilegious guy. It may sound sacrilegious or impious, but that's just the way it is. It's a little reference for those... It's a little reference for those who... Uh, who care for it? A little reference. Sacrilegious or impious? Who, who gets that little reference? One in chat if you get that reference. Uh, and attendance in chat if you haven't redeemed it already. Who's here, by the way? I want that chat to be moving quick. We're going to get a lot of movement just there. We got one person saying one. Okay, we got two people. We got two people who got the reference. Thank you for saying here. If you got the reference, now tell me what the reference was. I think you're lying. That shit's too niche. That shit is too... Oh, no, no, okay, wait, someone finished the copypasta in chat. Wait, we've got a base individual. Alex Gark base, but with my hand on the Bible, that's what you got to do. we got some base individuals in chat. Thank you for being here, by the way. I'm lying? Yeah, there's liars in the chat. we got one individual who proved that they do know the reference. So niche. It, it was niche. It, it was niche, but uh, hey, at the end of the day. I'm not seeing enough movement. I'm seeing some movement right now, and I'm getting pretty excited about it. All right. Yeah, one person. Literally one person got the reference. It, 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 this is dire. This is dire. I hate when my memes are too ra niche for the chat to even recognize it. I do not care for this reference. That sounds sacrilegious or perhaps even impious, but that's okay. All right, let's get started with this. Fuck it, I've been talking enough. Let's turn that music off. We've not got long to get through this, so let's do it. Let's lock in. Chat, open up your bingos with special point bingo in the chat, and let's fucking do this. It works in YouTube chat as well, by the way, if you're in the YouTube chat. I see some people saying one in chat, but also I see absolutely no one in YouTube chat also knowing the reference. Also, someone said, why isn't he live on Twitch? I am live on Twitch. I'm always live on Twitch. Go over to twitch.tv slash TV. Pop open a tab, please. I'd appreciate you. Guess my average viewership up means I can charge the brands more. Haha, <laughs> little business tactic for you. Anyway, let's get on with this. Fucking hell, man. All right. Off to a great start. Let's get going. Factory worker Kama Kaley recently moved from his home country of Greenland to live and work in Denmark. But mm -hmm. little did he know that the apartment he moved into had a horribly dark past. Seven years ago, a 49-year-old man was brutally attacked and lost his life right out- I don't know why I was like, oh, like comically overreacting. That's actually tragic. I was like about to do my like, bit, but that, that's actually- uh, that, that's awful. A 49-year-old man being murdered in his house is fucking terrible. Oh, outside. Door. Fucking hell, that is After actually Kama awful. Moves in, he begins to notice his things moving and falling to the floor for no reason. Grab he it hears it. the creepy sound of someone knocking on his door, and doors inside the apartment slam shut for no reason. Damn. One afternoon, Kama hears strange sounds coming from somewhere inside his apartment. Mm -hmm. He pulls out his phone. Oh wait, hang on. Quickly, is my mic still turned up from yesterday? Because I turned it up. 
Turn it back down to normal. Just realized I had it cranked up a little bit louder than usual because of Harry. And starts to record as he tries to find the source of the odd noises. But then this happens. What language is that? That is like the crazy, like that. I've never seen, a, that, 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 there's so many letters in each word. Greenlandic. I don't, is Greenlandic Hi, Jackie, sorry, a, a this real, is, is that genuinely a real life? But I just wanted to say that I've been going through a tough time at the minute. Oh, I'm sorry. Me so much, and oh, I just wanted I'm to glad. Say thank you. Sorry that you're going through a shit time. I hope everyone's though. good. Is that really what Greenland is? Yo, I, I, I'm gonna Google, I'm gonna Google Translate that. See what it says. No, that is Kalalisu. Kalalisu. It just says the consequences of meeting someone, apparently, which is really ominous. It's called Kala. There's so many letters, like so many double letters, like double M, double A, double E, like there's, it, it, it's a fucking daunting language to look at, to like then try and understand, fucking hell. Shout out people from Greenland, it looks hard as shit. Anyway. He, the millennial pause, pause was crazy as he just stared like fucking shell shocked into the camera one more time. Like it like cuts to him and the, he just like lead paint stares into the camera. <laughs> Three seconds of just <laughs> before he starts. <laughs> Am I supposed to believe a ghost farted? Am I- did he fart out of fear? Or did the ghost- Am I supposed to believe a ghost farted there? No, surely not. He shit himself? He actually shit himself. A farting ghost? Parasynical would be- Imagine Parasynical got haunted by the farting ghost. Dude would never go to church again. He would never risk losing that thing. Okay, he, ma he made it in. Dude! Dude! Dudes just be like, yeah, that's enough. And all they have is one chair and a mattress on the floor. Fuck me. Get some furniture, my guy. Please. <laughs> I want to see that room one more time. <laughs> he is using his windowsill with a chair pushed up to it as a desk. He's got an object, like an obelisk on the floor. He's uh, one screwed up shirt, which I can only assume is his only other piece of clothing. <laughs> a, a, like, two-seater sofa and a mattress on the floor. Fuck. Me. Male living situations. Actually, that subreddit, like, to a T. Male, li male living situations. The lamp on the floor? Come on, man. Come on. Jack, are you rich? I don't think you need to be rich to live slightly better than this. Like, come on, Matt. Ghost nicked his furniture. <laughs> Thank you, you're dumb for the prime. But yeah, seems like it. 
Kama gets a good jump scare as a door slams shut right in front of him. And, uh, it seems to literally it's scare a fart right, <laughs> right out of him. That sounds like it's far away from him, though, which is confusing. Also, oh, yeah, someone did die in a three-mile radius. We probably should start doing the bingo. Um, move out. Dude can't afford to move out. Dude can't even afford a fucking bed frame. Um, no free promo. I mean, they, they put his name at the start, but then they, like, censored his TikTok at the whole time. Hang on. But little from his home country. It like censored his. I feel like that is no free promo. If you're censoring the fucking TikTok watermark, that counts as no free promo. I mean, it's not the Bizarre Bub channel, but you know, whatever. But yeah, that is. I mean, that doesn't bother me that much. That just seems like a draft. I don't know. The door slamming by itself, I usually would put down to a draft. It does seem very harsh. His reaction does seem quite real, but it is convenient that it, the camera's pointed at him and not the door when it happens, you know? But whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll write that off to chance. There's a door slammed shut right in front of him. Wind plus heavy door. Yeah, exactly. I'm not sold that and, this is a ghost uh, yet. It seems to literally scare a fart right out of him. The only thing haunting about this home is the lack of decor. Like, I'm just... I'm not... <laughs> but now, this is where the fun ends and things start to get really dark. Because another day, not long after sunset, oh, the more. activity in the apartment starts up once again. Okay. Now, Kama is a bit scared, but once again, he takes out his phone to try to record proof of the creepy activity in his apartment. What happens next is truly creepy. Mm-hmm. It's got like a little bubble. Yeah, it's that, it's that bubble from those protect my, bu uh, protect my bubble ads. You know, that you used to get on like British TV, like the insurance company. The bubble's there. That's, that's it ain't a ghost, it's the bubble. He's trying to protect his phone from a big fall. Yeah, maybe I did another niche reference. No. The orientation week for my uni starts tomorrow and I'm anxious about finding friends, so thanks for cheering that's me up. That's a little weird. Jack. That's a little weird, but... Interesting that opens in a direction that's out of frame, you know? Well, like, why did he start filming this cupboard in the first place, you know? Activity in his apartment. What happens next? 23 months, I fucking hell. Creepy. Best of luck with uni. Yeah, like, why did he start filming this, you know? I don't know. Little bit of skepticism here. Viridians, thank you for tier one. Which other direction would it open? No, I, I know, but it, it, I'm, it's just convenient, I don't know. I honestly cannot believe it's been 14 months. I hope you've had a good day. Enjoy the ghost video. Thank you very much. Thank you for the 14 months. That is a little odd, unless someone pulled it and then disappeared into that room there. But, to be fair, I do have an explanation. Okay. By itself and Kama's helmet slides. Well, never mind. The, the helmet is a bit weird. B -O 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 13 months I feel like it's got to be a string, right? Wave. Thank you very much. Thank you. If we if we like listen to the like the the supposed context and like he's home alone and shit, that is creepy. However, if I go with my gut and say that someone's in his house with him, just pulling that, less creepy. You know. Hides across the floor. 
later that oh, he night, did get more Colin furniture. decides to live stream from his apartment. Live he stream? He's having okay, live stream's interesting. That's bold. That's bold. Hard to fake things on live. Trouble sleeping because he keeps hearing things moving and falling to the floor over in the next room. What happens next, live on camera, is downright chilling. <laughs> Something falls over. Gravity. Very nice. Uh, I think at this point... I feel like... Mo is move out harsh? He definitely can't afford it. But... It's been like days of this shit now. I feel like... Maybe move out is reasonable. I feel like it could... It's reasonable. Uh... That's it, though. That's it. Service. I mean, to be fair though, this is kind of interesting. This could be faked, right? Like, it, it falls, it makes a noise, and then he pulls the... Like, and then he pans to, like, the thing that's already on the floor. I'm like... Mm, quite easy to fake, even on live. Kind of ASMR vibes with this guy, though. Very soothing. Very soothing. See what I mean? Like, that's like that inaudible whispering type beat. I'm getting the tingles. Life can also just be pre-recorded, true. What the fuck? Oh, the drawer flew open. Yeah, I'd be scared, to be fair, if it was real. Interesting. What was that? No noise. someone up there oh no this has got to be fake okay there's someone up there yeah your friend who's faking all the ghost shit you dipshit okay i was like almost getting ready to believe him like almost getting there you know like when the drawer flew open i was like that that seems hard to fake on live without accidentally leaking the person that did it i think he just means a ghost yeah, Ghost is just some guy, absolutely. That's just his buddy doing all the shit. Because everything so far could have been done with strings. We've not seen anything that couldn't be done with strings. Yeah, no. It's just, yeah. Caught live on stream, Kama hears the sounds of his belongings falling to the floor in the other room. But when he goes to investigate, streamer. the drawers of the much. small cupboard slide open on their own. Kama's had enough and runs down the stairs and out of the building. But when he looks up at his apartment window, he is shocked to see someone or something standing inside his apartment, seemingly looking right down at him. Mm, yeah, so that's real. Everything that has happened, that's a real ghost, not just a human being. Actually be haunted by the restless ghost of the man whose life was taken there. Let me Probably know not. what you think. If I'm honest, no. I'm, I'm just saying a quick no. side note, but Greenlandic is only spoken by around 57,000 people in the entire world. Oh. Wow. Fucking hell. So a huge thank you to Nuke's Top 5 viewer Wilhelm for translating. Oh, that's kind of based. That's cool. That's cool. Also, cool that we, we got to hear a little bit of a very rarely spoken language. How cool. Nuke's top five viewer videos.
Nuke's top five viewer Natalie Hintz is taking a few iPhone Live photos of her sister-in-law and niece at a scenic lookout in Utah. Mm -hmm. And suddenly very she cool. notices something very odd. Okay, set up for this gives me this could be real vibes. Oh, I wouldn't really say that's a ghost. That is weird. That's really weird, but I would not argue that that is a ghost. <laughs> I I don't know what could have possibly caused that, but I, I my money's not on ghosts. Let's just put it that way. Just a really quick bike. When Natalie watches the live photos back, she notices a bicycle riding by at an alarming speed in the background. All that is weird. I don't know what that could be. I think it's like a bike would fall over. But yeah, I, I really, I, I'm pretty adamant. Is it just on top of a car? Oh, Thanks. you're so right. You're so right. There's going to be a road behind that bush. You're so right. It's just on top of a car. It's just like a perspective thing. It's like a weird perspective, like, illusion. Yeah, it's going way too quick to be a bike. Oh. That's funny, though. That's a, that's a funny video. Like, like, what a weird coincidence. But yeah, look, these are roads. These are absolutely like roads you can drive on. That's just a car behind them. It's just like weird perspective. Funny. Very funny. When Natalie watches the live photos back, she notices a bicycle riding by at an alarming speed in the background. Yep. All on its own. No! There's no rider, and there's no one chasing the runaway bike. Natalie yeah. says she is creeped out by the strange photos. Natalie might be a fucking idiot. I mean, I know I fell for it for a second, but come on. Viewer Steven Figueroa says that he's been experiencing paranormal events since he was three years old. He says that he has even seen full-bodied shadow apparitions in his home. Damn! So back in 2013, when Steven was 18 years old, he says that he was finally able to capture proof of what he's been experiencing. But it's I? a bit potato because all he had to record back then was his iPod Touch. <laughs> It's a bit potato. All right, footage of seven pixels coming up, people. Bro, that's two. That's two. That is two pixels. That is not seven. That isn't even seven. I think I can count those. That's insane. That's insane. Let's check that off. Notice that the trash can first tips slightly forward, then moves back, then crashes over onto the floor. A few bags and suitcases fall over as well for no apparent. They pull it, they go in the opposite direction. Apparent reason. Cut to 2017. I feel like probably just string. And Steven has now upgraded his video with a new phone. When he hears a strange rattling noise coming from the hallway outside his bedroom, he once again decides to try to record some proof of his paranormal experiences. And this is when things start what, to what get... That was unnecessary. Jump scare me like that. Thank you, Jamie. That felt wholly unnecessary. Noise coming from the hallway outside his bedroom, he once again decides to try to record some proof of his paranormal experiences. And this is when things start what is to the get point of that? really weird. God, I love Star Wars. Holy shit. A picture frame on the wall violently moves and raises up, almost as if it's trying to fly right off the wall. Since this video, Stephen says that his grandmother cleansed and saged their home. And for the last six years, he's happy to report he's never had another paranormal experience. 
Those are weird if they're not string, but are also very easily string. Like, you know, they all move like in one direction, kind of like that. You know what I mean? Like, the, like this, this is video, just this is trying to go like towards Stephen the camera. Stephen says that his grandmother cleansed and saged their home, and for the last six years, is up almost as if it's trying to fly right off the wall. Since this video, Stephen says that his grandmother cleansed and saged their yeah, home, I mean, and for the last six years, uh, he's happy to report he's never had another paranormal experience. That's nice. Good for him. This next oh, residents try sage. True. You're right. You're actually right. That does count. That does count. That does count for sure. For sure. For sure. This creepy video was. Sorry, we've not had that in a while. I kind of forgot that comes up. I viewer Paulus Hellinger. In his email, Paulus says that his brother was home all alone one night at their farm in Finland. Out the window, he notices that the light in the barn has mysteriously turned on. Paulus says that this strange event has happened many times but no one in his family can figure out why. Now the farm is in the middle of nowhere, mm. and the man What's like the prime? Man is all alone. But nevertheless, he gathers his courage and goes out to turn off the light. He films the barn as he searches for any explanation as to why the light turned on. What happens next is downright creepy. Okay, barn. It's a creepy barn, but nothing creepy has happened. Just a generally weird setting. On the left side of the doorframe, barely visible. A pale, undefined face can be seen staring in through the window of the barn, seemingly watching the man before disappearing into the night. Thankfully, whatever it was seems to have scurried off and the man returned home unharmed. But what do you- I mean, could be something. Could also just be his mate trying to make a scary video. You think this is? Yeah, it could be like a horse's nose. It's so low quality, it's like impossible to tell. Creepy, like creepy concept. Creepy concept, cool execution, but I'm not... I, I, I'm not trying to be a hater today, because like... But I think everything we've seen is teetering on that... Uh, maybe... Territory, where like it's not all that convincing. Could just be a trespasser as well. There's no reason it has to be a ghost, you know? Like, absolutely... Oh yeah, the light came on by... Yeah, okay, let, let's say he's not... <laughs> Thank you. Let's say he's not lying. Let's say like genuinely the barn light set off by itself and then you see that face there. It's more likely just to be an intruder who tries to break into your barn than a ghost. To be honest. Like, let's be realistic. Because ghosts are real. I do believe ghosts are real. Like, genuinely. I've had strange experiences that I cannot explain. But I think a lot of people fake it. I don't think it, like ghost activity is as common as, you know people make out it is or perhaps something even more terrifying a real person stalking around the farm in the middle of nowhere yeah in the dead of night more realistic a knuckle son a group of jane thought he said a knuckle like like uh, he said a knuckle son i thought he was gonna say a knuckle sonny like he was gonna punch someone friends at a high school in Japan hear crying coming from the restroom during their lunch break. Okay. Now in Japan there is a famous legend of a girl named Hanako-san. This young girl Thank you for 300 bits. Did you guys hear that? To haunt restrooms in schools across Japan. The group moves in, all of them a bit hesitant to investigate the source of the creepy Oh, they sound. all they all genuinely seem quite scared. Oh no way. They have those like squatting toilets in schools in Japan. 
I know they still had those in China, but I didn't I didn't think Japan had any of those left. Needless to say, it did not go well. Look behind you. I don't know whether I heard a voice or not because they all are talking. You know what I mean? I think the problem is there's so many voices in that video. There's no way of knowing. Empathy girl crying audio. <laughs> the speed ups make it really hard to follow as well. Bruv, bruv, bruv! Oh. The girls are just. That shit me up. That, okay, it's fake. It's absolutely fake. Entry is painfully fake. Uh, but Oscar winning performance for the person recording. Jesus Christ. They genuinely seem scared. I didn't, I didn't think this video was fake. I thought like maybe like someone's trolling, but these girls look genuinely scared. Dude, that scared the fuck out of me. Holy shit. Just about to leave until they suddenly hear a loud bang and go back for a look. The horrifying distorted face of Oh, it's like badly edited too. Like the eyes like move like up her head. That is fucking scary though. Holy shit. We can definitely mark off a... No, I wouldn't even say that's bad editing. Like, obviously it's fake. I, I feel like it achieves its purpose well enough. The face of a young girl can be seen inside one of the restroom stalls. The... Yeah, like, I think the face is, like, edited on. Like, clearly one of them stood there and then they the edited on this, like... Distorted face. Of... Like, the sort of grayish face. Holy guacamole that scared me. She kind of looks like you. Fuck you. Face of a young girl can be seen inside one of the restroom stalls. The group runs and Yeah, fear. like the face looks tracked on. I'll be honest. I think, no, I think we can say bad editing. Like if you look like the, the track sort of moves on the face. Good jump scare though, to be fair. It looks like a filter, yeah, or something. The editing can't be that bad if it shut you up. You made a good point. I'm taking it away. All right, no, uh, we can call it good editing. It did work. And the video cuts. Now, unfortunately, there's no source to be found for this video. It appeared on the internet as mysteriously as the Japanese legend. So did the girls capture evidence of Hanako-san? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. The six-year seal. A girl says that she lives in a spooky house. What? Like a, a seal? Like the animal? We gotta see it again in full speed. No, it, I, 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 I don't need that. It, it was, it was good. It clearly fake. Obviously, the most fake of the day, but scary. Like made me jump. That was built in the early 1800s. She says that as long as she can remember, strange, unexplained things have happened around the home, including odd noises and creepy, unexplained footsteps in the middle of the night. Tragically, the girl's mother passed away inside the house under mysterious circumstances. Soon after, the girl's granddad became convinced that there was something evil inside the home. Okay. For unknown reasons, her granddad sealed his bedroom shut, hid the key. Wait, hold on. The girl says that she lives in a spooky house that was built in the early 1800s. Okay. She says that as long as she can remember, strange, unexplained things have happened around the home, including okay. odd noises and creepy, unexplained footsteps in the middle of the night. Okay, so I, tragically, I, I, the girl's mother passed away inside the house. Okay, yeah, that, it was the grandfather thing that I, I started getting under lost. Mysterious circumstances. What Soon does that after, mean? The girl's granddad became convinced that there was something evil inside the home. So why wouldn't you move out at that point? Why would you not move out and instead lock yourself in a room in the house? That seems utterly ridiculous. For unknown reasons, her granddad sealed his bedroom shut, hid the key, 
and left the house, never to return. The oh, never mind. Okay, he just locked his room and then never went back to the house. Okay, wait, no, I wasn't listening properly. Okay, so he, di he, didn't, he did move out, but he, he just locked the room. The old man's room remained locked off for the next six years. Oh, wow. Then suddenly, one day the key to the room was found just lying in the open. Oh, oh, the six-year seal, isn't it? It was sealed for six... Okay, that makes more sense than the thing I was thinking. On the living room table, with no explanation as to how it got there. He probably could have chucked the house on red and won some money. <laughs> Always the way to think about it. I like the way you think, Louie. One night, the girl and her friends decide to explore the allegedly haunted house using a spirit box in hopes of getting some kind of answer from the other side. And that's when things take a very unexpected turn. If there's anybody with us, can you tell us your name? Okay. Oh, y'all heard that. Y'all heard that. <laughs> That actually even scared me. Like that was like a, a that was a genuine figure. I was like, oh my god, wait, that's oh my god, that's real. And it was just a fucking woman and like wearing a towel. The girl's sister is unaware of what's going on and simply steps out of the shower to go to her room. The group thinks it's a ghost and freaks the f out. I would have shit things myself. Things are about to take a much more sinister turn as the three friends finally decide to unlock and explore her granddad's six-year sealed bedroom. Oh, it's just a bedroom? Are you going in? No, I'm getting a bad feeling about this. I don't feel good. All right, Star Wars. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm you guys got so lightheaded. What is that? I just got... Well, then don't be going through this stuff. I just got so lightheaded. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know. I got lightheaded as soon as I walked in here. Did we watch this on Bizarre Bub? We've seen this. We've seen this one like ages ago on Bizarre Bub. Uh, in like a different, like an old compilation. We know this. I never knew the context of like the TikTok live and like the, it, the, it being the granddad's room. I knew it was sealed. I remember that. He gets scratched. Yeah, I remember this. Yeah. Because they sage the room. Welcome here. Oh, my head's itching. I think there's lights in here. Also, this is not a bedroom. There is no bed. Why is Santa Claus locked up? That's what I'm supposed That thing's creepy. Why? Santa, why are you locked up? It could be an object in here. Yeah. Do you guys ever think about that? Like, it could be an object. You could just burn the whole room. Are you doing in the closet, dude? Yeah, there's no bed in here. Maybe that. Is it really? There's my bed. Do you have scratch marks in it? I don't know. Oh, my God. No, you're kidding. Stop. No, get out, 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 but, okay, weird, but I was just trying to like play it off, you know, like it's it's not real. He said that his back was burning and as a joke I was like, oh imagine if you had scratch marks and then he had them and in the video you obviously can see there was no one near him. After this terrifying ordeal, the group believes something is very- I mean, they do look just like someone scratched their fingers at their own back. They're not particularly aggressive. It is a little bit weird. It is a little weird, but like- not impossible to fake. Nothing so far is one of those things where I'm like, this is inexplicable. Or this is like so minor that why would someone fake it sort of thing. Be wrong inside that house. They say that they plan on just staying out of that bedroom. But what do you think is going on here? Could there be a dark entity linked to that bedroom? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. I wouldn't be that hard to fake Lost that. Soul. In Michoacan, Mexico, a photographer named Paco is waiting in his studio for his friend Eduardo to arrive to work on a project. Paco suddenly hears his friend Eduardo outside his open window, talking loudly to someone on the street. Paco checks his security camera to see what's going on. And, uh, just watch. Oh. 
I mean, weird if true. Also, again, very easy to fake. Wait, te juro por Dios, wait. Te lo juro por Dios que un señor me preguntó que dónde era la pinera. <laughs> te lo juro por Dios, wait. I mean, he does seem genuinely quite spooked. He does, he does seem spooked. Un señor se me acercó y preguntó, oiga, disculpe, ¿dónde es la pinera? Y por eso le explico, le digo que tenía que cruzar y darle más para abajo, güey, te lo juro. Te lo juro, güey, no mames. <laughs> no mames. Eduardo swears that a man was asking him for directions, but the security footage shows no one there. That is weird. That is weird. Odd shape on the roadside, technically. Mm, not 100% sold on that just yet, but we'll see. Just an odd white mist. Okay, odd shape on the... Okay, odd, uh, he literally even called it odd. He called the white mist odd. All right, never mind. I changed my mind. Odd shape on the roadside so it did is. did Eduardo have a conversation with a ghost? Or a brief mental breakdown? Because he seems convinced. So let me know what you think. Alice Attic. Mm. Amateur parent... Oh, people are getting bingo now. I'm not far. I'm not far. We, I, I, it's doable. Normal investigator Phil Koch has been posting strange captures from his supernatural explorations for 15 years on YouTube. Fucking hell. Yeah, that's, that's legible. Phil Koch has been posting that's strange fucking... captures from his supernatural I can, explorations for 15 years I can make on sense YouTube. of that. Something just crashed right next to us. In fact, I featured Phil's videos on this channel many years ago. What did I just say? The hell? Something just moved. Something just moved behind me. Now on the. What happened? The hell? Something just moved. Something just moved behind Ooh. me. Now oh. Oh, that's weird. I mean, could be fakes, but I don't know. I don't know. This particular night, Phil and his teenage son are performing a paranormal investigation in the attic of an allegedly haunted house. I mean, when someone travels around looking for these things, I almost believe them more than like people who like make videos consistently about like one home or something. Like they're like, my house is haunted. Look at this. It's like, oh, convenient that you have a haunted house and you really want to make videos about it. Like people like Sam and Colby that travel ar travel around and look for these things. I'm a little bit more convinced by it because I think there's some locations that are genuinely haunted in this world. You know? Alice in West Alice, Wisconsin. And things get weird. On the floor. Mm -hmm. So. 56? 70? Between. Without them knowing, a voice seems to whisper go outside. 70? 70? 70? 70? Would that count as a random noise? Yeah, sure. I mean, technically. Um, hmm. Interesting. That's too clear. I mean, hey, the, the voice we heard on Sam and Colby, me and Tom, was, like, pretty clear, to be fair. Let me... Um... Oh, you just look out the window. You yeah, just yeah, check. Yeah. What it was actually used for was as. What, what the, the fuck? fuck? What the fuck was that? That just fell off. What? Uh, that is a lot more gentle. That was a lot more gentle. Still, that freaks me out to this day because I heard that in the room. What, what, the, fuck? what the fuck was that? That just fell off. What? No. Wait, was that? Was that yeah, somebody else? Hello? That actually gave me chills. That was... Hello? Hello? Can you just look out the window? Can you yeah, just check that that was like... Are we on the second story? Um, well, okay, wait. That no, was a girl. We outside, but there was a girl. Yeah, like, like you know, that was a yeah, loud yeah, ass girl. Yeah, and wait, wait, wait. Can we talk about this? No, no, no. Like, who was there? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. God, he was so freaked out. Fucking hell, man. Look at the big grin on my face. I'm so amused by him being freaked out. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. But no, to be fair, the uh, the high there is a lot more gentle and like shorter than like go outside. Like, that's like a fucking. That's two. Like that's like go out. That's three syllables, you know. But what happens next? And it's very loud. Shocks them to their core. Like Twelve thirty. 
And uh, I think that it was about an hour since we heard those footsteps coming through here, but I don't know what that was from. What's our average temperature? It's about 37, 38. That's why I'm cold. And I'm getting like a point two all the way through the room. Like it's going to 45. There's what? 50. Oh, I got a 50. I got a reading here. Oh, okay. I got a reading here. Oh, oh, okay. They're Canadian, they would never lie. Did you hear that accent? I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. That's a Canadian right there. They don't lie, they don't lie. There are people that can't do that. They're born without the ability to do it. I'd usually be doubtful, but they, 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 they can't. They can't do it. Um, I don't know why. I know I've just been throughout being like, that, that string, blah, blah, blah. I'm more inclined to believe this. I don't know what it is. It's something about them, like, genuinely investigating. And, like, you know, I, I do feel like, like, in investigating and really wanting to see these things, you do provide the attention and energy for things to happen. And that wasn't crazy. A chair moved enough that it was notable, but not enough that it was, like, this is, like, it's not like a bunch of shit flew off the shelves like most people who fake this sort of thing do. It was just a chair oh, and his son have had enough. moving they just run a good amount, but not crazy. I don't know. Right out of the attic. But when Phil uploads the video, many viewers claim that they can actually see something sitting in the chair that slides out. It does look a bit but like that, actually. What do you think? Wandering I don't know. Interesting. The voice is very distinct, actually. That, that is... Yeah, actually, putting it in conjunction with the voice, I don't know, it is so clear. Or night, Phil and his teenage son are performing a paranormal investigation in the attic of an allegedly haunted house in West Allis, Wisconsin. And things get weird. On the floor. Mm -hmm. So... 56? Seven? Seventy between without them knowing it is so clear. I am that makes me more skeptical. Two things of that magnitude in one hunt is like quite shocking. And they don't hear it. Yeah, that's the thing. That tiny ass voice that isn't very loud in the Sam and Colby video, we all heard in the room. You know? Like we all heard it. I don't know. A little bit weird. I, I, um, yeah, okay. You people acknowledging that has made me definitely more skeptical. Definitely more skeptical than I was prior. I would say that for sure. Absolutely. Hold on. Okay, two seconds. I just got to do this before we carry on. Guys, it's the top of the hour, and you know what that means. We got to run the top of the hour ad. Now look, I don't like doing it, but I ask that every single viewer who watches these streams support them in some way, shape, or form. And that means I need you guys to stick around for the next minute whilst the minute long top of the hour ad plays. It's free, it doesn't cost you a penny, all right? It supports the stream a lot though, it generates income for me despite you not having to pay anything. All I ask for is a minute of your time. A time the time you were already choosing to give to this stream, which I greatly appreciate. If you're in YouTube chat and you may think this doesn't apply to me, oh no. Trust me, you guys get way more ads in the Twitch chat. These guys only get one ad an hour. You guys get a, an ad every six minutes, which is fucking crazy. So please, if you're on the YouTube chat, hop over to the Twitch. You get a way, way better deal with the ads here. Plus, you also have the option of supporting the stream even more to benefit of yourself. Because if you pay me $5 a month, all right, the last day of September. So right now, you actually get 25% off of that. So it's even less. You get 30 days of watching this stream completely ad-free, no ads at all, no pre-rolls, no mid-rolls. You get custom emotes, custom roll in the Discord, custom uh, badge in the chat. I really appreciate it, and you really do help me out way more than just watching the ad. So please do consider that. If you can't afford it, then do remember that there is the free Prime option if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch. Check that you don't have a Prime available, like uh, Bleach Eater Leech did. Based Simply click, uh, click the... Uh, Click subscribe button. If there is a crown uh, on your sub button, that means you have a Prime available. Please do consider using it. If you use your Prime, 
And you get all those same benefits I talked about for absolutely free. And I still get supported just as much. You get one a month. If you're not using it, it's a waste. You might as well use it. And I would really appreciate it because it means a lot to me. Anyway, I'm going to run the ad and play some baby sensory videos while I nip downstairs uh, and get a little, uh, little drinky poo. Uh, I'll be back in hey, Jack. one hey, minute, hey, two hey, minutes. Hey. I think it's the tier one. Uh, baby sensory. I couldn't think what I was trying to look up. Let me bang it on and then I'll, I'll be back in a second chat. That's not the right thing. Guys, see you all in a sec. Hooray. Hello, I'm back. Sorry, I got a phone call. I had to answer it. Ah. All right, chap. Uh, let's uh, let's get back on with this video, shall we? Thank you for watching the ad. Do appreciate it. Uh, turn that off. Alrighty, let's do this. Back to the video. Let's carry on going. I've got about attendance. Thank you for redeeming it now. When a voice seems to whisper, go outside. Oh, we, we saw this. Seven. Oh, that is weird. Has to weigh. Oh. Okay. Wandering patient. Wandering patient. This next video takes place in an allegedly haunted hospital. Now this isn't every hospital allegedly haunted. I mean, it's just a place where a lot of people have died. So people really like, you know, being like, the ghost of a few of them is here. Story goes that the spirit of a little the real pissed off ones, the ones who didn't like dying, as opposed to the ones that do. For, apparently. Little girl who passed away still wanders the hospital halls, mm -hmm. unable to move on. Down in the hospital. No, I heard that one before. That's unique. Never mind. This might be real. Cafeteria. The staff working the late night shift experienced something that. Who wrote these fucking subtitles? They could not fucking. Oh, they're auto. -gen Why is auto generated? Like auto generating hey, fake Jack? words. I had a dream. You and Tom came to my city to tour your podcast, and our mutual friend Izzy oh, cool. came to surprise me so we could meet IRL for the first time. Anyway, have a great stream, King. That's very cool. Thank you for the two months. Maybe one day. It makes their blood run cold. Is that an automatic gate just opening by itself? And they think it's a ghost rather than just the, the sensor being on the blink? I, I, that feels... That feels like a push, you know? <laughs> Stop playing, girl! It is slightly weird that both the sensors went on the blink, but whatever set one, like, 
you know, they, they work off infrared. Like, what if something outside of the visible light spectrum, like, in, interfered with the sensor, and that's why the door and the fucking gate fucked up? Because, like, something, I don't know. Cosmic ray, bro. I don't fucking know. I, just, I, I feel like ghost is such a leap. <laughs> Oh, wait. There is like a little shadow. Now the hospital night staff all know the... That is a shadow. Hang on. That might be a shadow figure money gang. A little ghost that supposedly wanders the hospital. So they watch in terror as the cafeteria gates and automatic door open and close on their own. Almost as if someone is walking there. Again, I'm not but too... as the doors close, a small dark figure can be seen walking by the doors on the other side. I mean, shadow figure money gang. I think that counts. The only... <sighs> but whatever it is... None of that is like... Uh, it's too low res. What if someone like walked past behind it? Or what if someone like got caught in the reflection? Uh, just that... Why is, why is there no chance that, that is just a person in the hospital? Like, there's always staff in a hospital, right? It's like never unstaffed, right? Because, you know, there's like patients that need overnight care and shit. I don't know. Congrats on the bingo. It somehow just doesn't trigger the automatic doors. So you're telling me a ghost did and then didn't trigger the automatic doors? Come on now. So could the stories be true? And is the hospital indeed haunted by the spirit of a little girl? I leave that up to you to decide. I'm not like sold the on Madison that. Madison Seminary. Okay. Two teams of paranormal investigators decide to... Two teams? What is it? Are they going like head-to-head -head so you can find the most ghosts? Was this Luigi's Lu 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 mansion? I was trying to say Luigi's mansion. Couldn't say it. Explore the allegedly haunted Madison Seminary in Madison, Ohio. Madison Seminary was built in... Only in Ohio, bro. Only in Ohio would you find that shit, bro. Only in Ohio, bro. Ghost of Queso, bro. Ghost of Kai Sanat. Riz Ghost, Duke Dennis. Only in Ohio, bro. In 1847, and over the years, the building has been used as a school, a hospital, a mental asylum, and even as housing for the grieving families of men who died in the Civil War. Fuck off. They, 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 were, they made this like dumb. This is like when kids make up like uh, ultra superpower. This was like the mega haunted place. And like every, this house has every haunted backstory there is. Only in Ohio, bro. Let's just go through the list of creepy backstories we have over here again. Over the years, the building has been used as a school. Haunted school happens all the time. A hospital. Hospital? We've been over this. People die there all the time. A mental asylum. Fuck right off. That's like the creepiest backstory for any building ever. And even as housing for the grieving families of men who died in the Civil War. Grieving families. Fuck off. You're telling me this one place was used for all four? I, I, I already doubt this. It has the most ultra backstory that sounds so much like BS. With a long, dark history like that, it's no surprise that many ghosts are said to haunt its abandoned halls. A if it's real true. So one spirit in particular is said to be that of a very unfriendly doctor who tries to frighten and physically attack anyone who visits Madison Simmons and Halls. This? So one spirit in particular is said to be that of a very unfriendly doctor who tries to okay. frighten and physically attack Batman any... ass law, literally. Isn't didn't Sam Colby did a video here? With like Michelle Care, right? Was that there? Uh No. No, 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 no. This is trans allegany. Transalegany Lunatic Asylum. Not the same one. Just wondered. Just wondered. Anyone who visits Madison Seminary. Now, the team of paranormal investigators has just started to explore the building when investigator Mandy notices something very odd. You're super red. What? Am I gonna die? What? Come on. Am I gonna die? No. Oh, yeah. Dude, he's super red. World's whitest man. What do you mean he's super fucking red? His ears are a bit red. What do you mean? Look at that. He has like, oh, he has a little mark on the back of his head. Okay. I was so confused. I was like, what? That is a white man. He's not red at all. <laughs> Never mind. He's got like a little red mark here. Okay. Oh, the sun just came through. Hey. Oh, it's a pain. Oh, what the? F it almost. <laughs> 
<laughs> that is the most unfly. He looks like a thumb. <laughs> Don't do that to him. Well, that's just rude. If someone took a picture of me like that, I'm hitting them. That's that's, that's so rude. You see, like his fucking ball patch on the back. That's, looks like, like a thumb. That's thing. weird. What? Yeah. That is odd. But like, that's also, weird. he probably just like scratched the back of his head when none of them were looking. I don't, I don't know. It's, I'm not like convinced by that. Spot too. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even feel anything. Like it doesn't feel like anything right now. No, that's weird. Hmm. I guess we'll see if it does start to feel like something. Yeah. Again? So it's burning or something? I mean, that's... It's so that's just... red. Yeah, it's not that red. It doesn't feel like anything. It's weird. Ghost hunter Steve is shocked to discover that a large red mark has suddenly appeared on the back of his neck. It's really, really not that. You could easily just go like that. And then like, if I do this for a second, and then, well, the chair's in the way. Do I have a red mark? I, maybe not, but I, like, is it a bit red? Like I rubbed on it for a second. It feels like a little bit sore now, you know? Like, no, okay, never mind. Maybe not then, maybe not. Don't say thumb looking at. Headset dent reveal? No, I'm not doing that again, man. You lot are being rude to me. But he says he doesn't really feel a thing. So the group continues upstairs where the angry spirit of the Don't mention the group right now, bro. Doctor is Fuck, I wasn't gonna drink tonight, but I miss yummy so bad. Guess I gotta drink tonight. I guess I'm gonna have to drink tonight. I guess I'm gonna have to drink tonight. That that sucks. I'm gonna have to drink tonight. I wasn't going to, but I guess I'm gonna have to. Times appear. As they record, they capture something that is downright creepy. It was like a male voice down there. It was like two or three words. Doctor! Doctor! It, doctor. it just said doctor. Right after we heard a male voice. Yeah, it was like a male voice down there. I'm not worried about like that. Like, I, I... Doctor! Doctor! It, doctor. it just said doctor. Right what the fuck is that? What the fuck is this little? That's like an animal. It's like a full-blown shadow figure. It, like, moves in... How is no one acknowledging that? Right after we heard Mel Blake, he said doctor. Yeah. So the thing is, he says he doesn't like to be called a doctor because he says he was a surgeon. So people call him a doctor and it makes him angry. So we call him a doctor, usually. <laughs> is there a doctor down there? I did sound like, yeah. Oh, did you hear that? Yeah. Definitely heard a voice coming from down there. The group hears a male voice coming from somewhere in the attic. It's just something in front of the light. Yeah, but it, the, the shadow doesn't seem like it's like projected on the walls. It seems like like an object within. But did you see it? Right after the investigators hear a voice in their obelisk ghost box says the word doctor, a small dark figure can be. Yeah, like that's not. I'm glad he's acknowledging it at least because like that is a thing. That isn't like it. it he doesn't. I don't know though. It, it doesn't seem right. Seems very edited. I'll be honest. It, it seems very edited. Because, like, it's not a, a shadow being projected on the door. It's, like, within 3D space. Small dark figure can be seen running into the attic hallway. The ghost hunters don't even notice. Ghost orbs check off. The Were there orbs? Figure and see only them. see it once they review their footage later. So did they capture the spirit of the old hospital doctor on camera? He was very small. You decide. You can watch this entire investigation over on the YouTube channel, Ghost Club Paranormal. Call oh, damn. Is this their equivalent of uh, the, the long COVID ghost channel? I, that felt like, that's like the closest thing we have for like long COVID ghost channel for like uh, Nuke Top 5. I'm gonna do it. I think that counts. I think that counts. I mean, we weren't gonna get the COVID ghost channel. It's fucking Nukes Top 5 instead of Bizarre Bub. I feel like that works. I feel like that works. But if you say they fake stuff, Sam and Colby would be faking. Not necessarily. Like, I, I don't think Sam and Colby are faking, but equally, I realize I have a bit of bias there because I've been with them on an investigation and I know it wasn't faked. Um, like, where would these people have not been with them? So I'm more skeptical. But I will say, like, I think the main thing that's getting me there is... That looked edited as fuck, and I've seen Sam and Colby's stuff, and it doesn't look edited as fuck. You know what I mean? On camera, late one night, Claire Mills from Manchester. 
I'm actually very happy to call that bad editing. That shadow figure looked weird. England gets a notification on a ring. But do you know it wasn't fake? A hundred percent. What with Sam and Colby, I I don't see how it would be. I really don't see how it would be fake. I don't know how they would have faked that voice in that candle for. You know, like I I do not know how they would do that. And a couple of the other things that happened there as well. I just I don't know camera that someone is moving around in her front yard for obvious reasons claire is a bit worried mm. and she immediately checks the camera footage what she sees sends chills down her spine oh that was fucking casper my fucking casper was right there a strange white mist can be seen quickly darting down the do that counts as an orb I mean, usually it's dust, but do you think that counts as like a, a ghost orb right there? That's smoke. It could be like a plume of smoke, maybe. A strange white mist can be seen quickly darting down the driveway. It's a little bit weird. It's a little bit too like condensed, but yeah. Way before disappearing completely. Claire has no idea what to make of this bizarre figure and wonders if she might have caught a ghost on camera. That is weird. We need scary videos. So if you see something scary that you think would be perfect for the top five, send it to me. At hey, maybe I should send, send nukes my videos because I've sent Bizarre Bob and I got aired. Top five at gmail.com. Secret shopper. Security guard Garamirez Rivera is working the night shift on New Year's Eve at a Bodega Herrera oh. store in Torreon, Mexico. Sorry, dude. The security guard is a little bit bored and records a video complaining about having to work all alone on New Year's Eve. Reasonable. Suddenly, something very strange happens. Año nuevo, señores. Feliz año nuevo aquí encerrado. Quedando el rondín. Jales, jale. Sin llorar. Ay, güey. Hijo de su pinche madre. Was it Buzz or Zerg? The motherfucker Zerg, he's evil, man. Algo se oyó. Ni pedo, vámonos. Uy. Oh, it's Buzz. Qué chingada. Qué chingos trae ese pinche. No manches. No, no se oye con sensor, valiendo madre. That's weird. Vámonos mejor. Uy. Uy, güey. Vámonos mejor. That's a little weird that he did it three times in the in a row. Uh, every time he walked past. Definitely a bit weird. After this creepy occurrence, the security guard is a little freaked out, but just brushes it off. But then another night at 3.20 in the morning. Another Rivera night. He keeps seeing someone walking behind him from the corner of his eye, even though he's the only person in the store. A little spooked, he decides to record himself as he walks through the store, hoping to catch a glimpse of M any mysterious McRib, thank you, the prime. that might be following him. In five months. What happens Six next months, is months. truly bizarre. Well, look at that. You're not him, bro. Don't do that. It can be truly nukes for you. That's well, it. Well, no, bueno, más bien, ando, estoy nervioso, asustado. Siempre traigo mi celular a la mano. Son las 3.20 de la mañana, me tocó aquí guardia nocturna. Voy a correr, ¿ah? si se fijan está todo solo. Uh -huh. Pero. Pero. Ahorita acabo de ver a alguien allá en la entrada de clientes. Se miró. Allá por la entrada de clientes, hasta allá, hasta atrás. Y... No hay nadie. Yeah, there's no one there. I, I, I'm, no... I can see. No hay nadie. Así lo voy a dejar, a ver si... Oh, Jack, check off Charles' toy makes noises or moves. That's true. It did, the Buzz Lightyear did make noises. Well done. Thank you for pointing that out. Pues de pura... Chingadera se vuelve a ver, ¿no? Y lo vi clarito, clarito. Ya lo vi otra vez. A ver si, el, a ver si se alcanza a ver. No, me da miedo ir. A oh. eso, eso que se mira ahí. That is weird. Ese, eso negro que se ve ahí. 
He didn't. Ya se murió. Oh! That's just a human, brother. That is just a human being. That's not a shadow. That is like a human being with like legs. I can see the fucking white print like design on the back of his hoodie. That's just a dude, bro. That is just a dude. Está caminando, de hecho, hasta que no, no manches. No manches. Y se sigue moviendo. Se sigue moviendo. Es una persona, claro, hasta que su. Mire. Miren. No, 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 no. Vámonos. Mate, you're Someone the. Or something. Is he not the security guard for the night shift? And he saw an intruder and he went, I'm gonna have here, too scary. You are not good at your job. Get a new job. If you can't face intruders and, and, and you know, the likes, then you're not cut out for. <laughs> Do your job. <laughs> Fascinating. Fascinating. World's worst security guard. Something can be seen lurking behind the creeped out security guard. Now, we cut to a week later and Rivera is back on another night shift when he spots a little girl aimlessly wandering around outside the supermarket. You get a new job, man. can approach her, she simply disappears into the night. Given the late hour and the fact that the little girl was all alone, many viewers have speculated that this little girl could have been responsible for the strange occurrences in the store. Some even suggest that she might actually be a ghost. I feel like it's a, a stretch. That was a, a grown ass, full ass man who we saw the first time, and that's a little girl. I don't really think that works, you know? So now a few months go by, and things seem to be back to normal at the store. But then Rivera spots a shopping cart doing something a little weird. ¿Qué tal, amigos? ¿Cómo están? Oigan, estoy en mi hora de comida, pero. No van a creer, amigos. Ahorita escuché que se movió el carrito. No lo vi. Escuché que ese carrito se movió, amigos. Okay, you heard the car move. You didn't see it. Se escuchó ese clarito como si lo hubieran. Si I lo heard it clear. You said you've seen everything bueno, clear, no sé, clear too, and I don't trust you. <coughs> Miren, hasta no sé si se fijan, hasta estoy, estoy temblando. <laughs> Pero sí, clarito, clarito escuché. Que lo movieron, amigos. Clarito, clarito. And he didn't. Again, another one where, like, he doesn't notice the voice. Child does something creepy? Sure. Okay, yeah. Child walking around at night. That, that counts. God, how am I this close and don't have a binger? Si yo. Pues no alcance a grabarlo, obviamente. Pero mire, no manches. Mira. Chéquense. Oh. No manches. No manches. No manches, amigo. Oscar winning acting. That he seems genuinely so he seems flabbergasted. I've never seen a man seem so shocked. Se movió. El carro se movió. Convenient crate in the way. True, very convenient. I'm sure it moved. We saw it. I was alright. As the security guard attempts to capture evidence of the shopping cart moving, a soft voice can be heard saying, Jugamos? Which basically translates in English to, Want to play? Que lo movieron, amigos. Jugamos? Clarito, clarito. So could it be that the Bodega Herrera store in Torreon is haunted by the spirit of a little girl? Or just what is going on here? I leave it up to you to decide. Is that it? Okay, kind of just a series of nothing burgers. Like a series of him just seeing people at his security job and pretending they're ghosts. He saw a little girl. I leave it up to you to decide. That doesn't even look, you know what I mean? She nothing on my burger tele video. Nothing burger video. All right. Fuck it. Let's do the rankings then. Wrong, wrong music. Let's do it. Uh, so 
First one with the guy, only thing haunted about that video was the fucking haunting lack of furniture. Already made that joke, making it again. Um, yeah, like... Okay, no, I'd say the, the most fake of all is absolutely this one. Uh, that like, you know, as, as, as scary as the jump scare is, uh, absolutely is fake. Like, absolutely this is fake. Like, the, the, the editing of like... Yeah, like that, you know, it made me jump, sure, but... Obviously fake. Like, obviously just orchestrated to make people scared. I would then say, um... I would then say this, honestly. Uh, the first one. Uh, like, where at the end, he's like, Dude, there's someone... Like, all the stuff goes flying off the shelves, and then he looks outside and goes, Dude, there's someone in there. And it, like, absolutely is just the guy that was in his house helping him drag everything off the shelves while he was doing the videos. Like, like it was more believable before he showed the, sh the figure in the window. And I was like, oh, okay, so there's someone in your house who's, who's doing this. Cool. Makes sense. Because it was all happening, like, off camera, and then he panned to it and shit. Like... Yeah, no, it, it, it almost certain it's fake. Slightly less certain than than that one, but that's because you can see the editing there. Where this, I, I mean, I am guessing, but pretty solid guess if I do say so myself. Oh my god, no, never mind. The most fake one. Sorry, I completely forgot. The most fake one of all um, is the ghost bike. The bike that's just clearly on top of a car as it drives past. Sorry, that's number one. Then bathroom girl. Then fucking this guy. Then I would say uh, the barn where the light turns on by itself and then you kind of see a face in the window. One, it's too hard to make out what it is. Secondly, it's more likely than not an actual person who broke into your barn and turned on the light than a ghost that's like sat and staring at you. You know what I mean? I feel like, like it's a weird leap in logic to assume it's a ghost instead of an actual human. Very creepy, but not a ghost. Uh, or it could be like an animal or some shit. I mean, there's so many options. Uh, that would be my my fourth yeah fourth least believable uh i would then say um okay there's a few options here these th i've got a few here that are kind of on par of believability like i'm pretty sure they're fake and i can come up with an explanation but like maybe it's me being a bit cynical uh one of them is this guy who just has videos from, like, his fucking mosaic iPod touch of things falling over. And then, like, paintings in his house, like, flying around. It just all looks like string work. Like, just, just pulling on strings to make shit happen. It, 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 I mean, it might not be, but it's so easily explained that way. And it's weird that every video is another thing moving or falling over. And he has several. It's just like, you're probably just doing these yourself. So I would say I'm pretty confident in that. Um, I'd then say, I'd then say, uh, the hotel with the doors that just open on their own, doors don't always work. The only thing that's weird is the little figure walking past, but that could be a reflection or, or like someone actually walking. I just feel like there's so many explanations before you go, that was a ghost. That's impossible. You know, it's a bit weird, but it, I I feel like there's more logical conclusions to come to before Ghost. Likewise, um, with this, I think is my next with the weird shadow figure that like almost certainly looks edited in, uh, and then like what the the thumbprint on the back of the guy's head, like that was a big deal. I don't know, it just feels like reaching. It feels like they went to a place, didn't really discover very much. So then they edited in a little shadow figure. It just feels like, it just, it, I don't know. That shadow figure is just, I mean, look, I, 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 I do sometimes believe shadow figures. I really do, but that just looks. You know what I mean? Like that, the fact that none of them acknowledge it and it's so clear as day and she like even points the camera directly at it. Surely you would have seen it on the camera. Like, it just doesn't... 
Nothing about this lines up with me. They work with Sam and Colby. That's fine. I just... I just have a... I'm just having my doubts. Uh, I would then say... Probably... Probably the one with the locked room and, like, the kid ends up with scratch marks on his back. It's one of the more convincing ones. You don't see him get scratched. And they do seem genuinely freaked out by the room and stuff. But... It could be fake. Like, it, it's easy enough to fake. But I'm less inclined to believe it's fake than all the others. All the others, I'm like, I'm pretty sure. This one, I'm like, eh, they seem legit. But... Easy done. Um... Yeah, actually, that being the case, I forgot how, like, mundane this one was. Let's put this one before that. The guy with the, with the security guard who just sees human beings and then goes, Guys, it's a ghost. These are just people. Every time. And then the, the shopping cart moves on its own, which is a little bit weird, but easier to fake than even that. So I'd say that maybe, you know, isn't that bad. And then, just making sure there's none I've missed. Yeah, I'd say then the last two... These are the two most believable, even though they're not that believable. Uh, the Canadian guys in the attic. Um, individually, both of them don't seem crazy, but that voice is so clear. Like, the chair moving is mad, but I'd believe it. But the, the voice is so clear. So much clearer than the one we got with Sam and Colby, and I think that was shockingly clear. So I just... I don't know. You know? And then I'd say the most real, to me, is this guy giving directions to the... But the security footage shows no one. You know what I mean? Like, the way he looks shocked about it afterwards. Like, he, he seems so... That one, like, his reaction is what sells me on that. A lot, I've seen a lot of people in the chat defending these guys. Apparently, they've worked with Sam and Colby. And, like, look. Maybe. Like, I, 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 I don't know. I just... There's something weird to me about... That shadow figure. It just doesn't seem legit. I don't know. But look, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, the mist orb. I forgot about that. That was very brief, wasn't it? That's probably... Actually, let's put this in second. I don't know what it is. It's weird. It's weird that a plume of smoke would just move on its own like that. But also, it could just be a plume of smoke. I just don't know. Maybe it's one of those, like, you know those things you pull and, like, it shoots air out? It could be one of those. I don't know. It's just a bit weird. I'm not sure what that is. But I... You know. But yeah, that's my ranking. I know it was a little bit difficult to comprehend, but I hope you got an idea of uh, my rankings today. It's my friend's birthday, and I've been live for a little while. I know it's a, I know it's a shorter stream, uh, but um, I, I probably should go see them before their birthday ends. So I, I'm going to go uh, hang out with my friend. So I'm sorry it's a short stream, but I am going to actually cut. I'm going to dip. Thank you, however, for hanging out. It's been real. You can follow my socials. Let's place socials in the chat. They're all Jet Manifold TV. Go check out the newest episode of the podcast if you haven't already with Jacksepticeye. Uh, and if you haven't checked it out already as well, go check out the newest YouTube video on the Jack channel where we went around uh, the San Diego Zoo and did the unnamed zoo challenge by an unnamed individual. Uh, no one in specific, really. Uh, go check all those out. I'll be live tomorrow, hopefully. We're recording the podcast tomorrow, so I'm still a bit jet lagged from all the traveling. If I'm too tired, I'll go live Wednesday instead. But as of right now, my hope is to go live tomorrow, but I will let you know. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll sort of put something in, ch in the offline chat if I'm not going to be live or whatever. But yeah, the goal is to be live tomorrow. But either way, it's been real. I'll see you all uh, then. Let's freaking raid somebody. Who's live? Oh, Harry's live. Easy. Go show Harry some love. Go tell him he'll be sorely missed at this little gathering this evening. Uh, I'll see you all tomorrow, hopefully, if not Wednesday. It's been real. Take care, everybody.